That's the 12th of October, 2012. Uh, just a little update on, on the 28th of um, October uh, this month for the 1835 Declaration of Independence Day. Uh, that's for Hapu and King William the Fourth um, partnership uh, with our uh, Declaration of an Independence Day of our nation state. Now, just working with the lawyer, the barrister, criminal barrister, Charles Hirschfeld, to um, liven up or legalise the 1835 Declaration uh, flag jurisdiction. So that's um, uh, Admiralty Law of the Seas. Uh, how that works is, is that the King of England, UK, King William the Third, drafted up the uh, legislation and acts for um, travelling the seas around the world for British <coughs> uh, and Her Majesty in Victoria. Ships. Uh, to um, go and look for new pastors, I guess. That's what you would call it. Anyway, he gave us Hapu, the uh, chiefs, Puhi chiefs up north, uh, 13 of them, uh, the uh, flag uh, to uh, have free passage for their vessels, their ships trading, anywhere in the world. So that meant they had the protection of the British Parliament, Government, and still today. Why? Because he drafted the Act into statute law for that flag in the British, British uh, Parliament, and it is extant forevermore can't be changed only the king and the hapu can change it so the government of New Zealand has not got any authority from Westminster direct they're using the queen Queen Elizabeth II and Queen Victoria um, for their uh, monarchy sovereignty now that is alien that's the alien part of um, of um, the British uh, on the Queen side. We are on the King side, the male side, the male DNA, a line of uh, descent and inheritance. So for Hapu, not Iwi, Hapu, there was no such thing as Iwi or Maori at that time. Not not a word about Maori. That's a European. Uh, crown in apostrophes concept and invention Maori iwi and not Tahitian founding names okay and it comes from Pakia alien invasion of our land here uh, anyway so the queen has her sovereignty assumed for John Key, Government in Wellington, New Zealand. Right? Their flag is off the boat on the sea, behind the bar, the sand bar, on the open sea, off the Navy boat, and put onto our land, dry land. Okay? From wetland to dry land. And they have no declaration of an independent country, state. So two things. Sovereignty, England, alien. And the declaration, declaration of an independent state, none. It's on the king's side, on this side, right? King William. And it's a contract on commercial law of the seas of getting around the world, okay? So, from that time, 1835, we are in business. And we haven't used the flag yet. Okay, we have not used that flag yet. So... My Maui crown 
an apostrophe is around it. That's a company. Okay? Private company. Confederation. That's the flag. Ngāpuhi. Puhi. Hapu. Up north. And Rahiri. Kingi Taurua. Te Ki Marae. Authority. Straight to England. Government of England. Westminster. Contract. Okay? Get it? Right. He handles the commercial side and the ownership. As far as the king was concerned, the confederation owns these lands in New Zealand, commercially, value. Alright? So, if anything's going to happen about selling lands, we can't sell lands. Not in Tahitian. He's Tahitian, I'm Tahitian. Right? That's the founding of this country. Puhi, just need one. Just need one. And then Rahiri, just need another hapu to put the papers together. The legal papers, and me, Tahitian, on there too, right? So we're both same blood. One's wild and one's spirit, okay? One for Mopiri, island, Tahiri, that's Piggy, and me, Ra, Raiatea, island, the spirit, where the Tikanga law comes from. One or people, right? We've got the family name they bought here uh, as Hapu. But for the family there, they were all one off. They'll be coming here. They came in 2005. Our people weren't ready. There's two busloads. I know, because my brother carried them around in one or coach lines at that time <coughs> when touring around the country. So it's our turn to host them. Uh, they uh, bought them south east. So we'll invite them back here, down to the east coast, down to Tipito, connects up with Rapa Nui, to Mokonui, East Cape, North Island, New Zealand. Okay? That's the arrival point of the Polynesian ships, canoes, um, when, they, when they come from Rarotonga. Okay? So for me, this is me. I'm 70% Tahitian. Right? Nothing about Maris. There's no Maris. 70% Tahitian. So I call myself Tahitian. 20% Rarotongan. Tahitian's on my father's side. No? Male line. That's our tikanga. Tikanga law is male line. Dominant. Not the female. Because the land stays in our ownership under the male. It's the queen that changes it to female. And sold land. They sold land, not us. We still got our land. Okay? We're putting an interest on it now with a flag. Financial interest, lien on top of her title. Right now. Just to let you know that we have legal title. Customized, cu customary title. Big lies. Okay? We put value on it. A trillion, trillion pounds. Bully, gold. You see it on Facebook, all the statements I put there, affidavits. Swear is my word against yours. It's for you to refute. So far, nobody has refuted any of it, including the Crown Corporation, aliens in Wellington, New Zealand Government, Parliament. Nothing whatsoever. No challenge. And so I've got a new Waitangi claim. It's the last one out of all the claims that were shut off in 2008. It's titled Maui Crown Confederation. Claim. Okay? So that will go right across the top of every other claim. You'll, you'll see that there's a, this corrupted history because they've put themselves, just the Pakis I'm talking about, inside Maori, inside our DNA, and called it Maori. Okay? Now, we shut that out, because that's non-existent as far as we're concerned. You're either a Tahitian, Tahitian, Samoan, Tongan, Fijian, Hawaiian, uh, Nguyen, and so forth. Uh, and no, not about Maori. 
Right? Maori is a bugger term. That's their title. And when they put that name there, they made the Maori Land Court and then put all the Maori's names in there from the hapu. See? So, to Nikora and Gisborne, on the Ua Pohatu claim, is saying that the iwi stole her whakapapa for the hapu, Ua, Ua Pohatu. Right? The same as us, same as Maui. They stole that as well. Right? The Queen stole the Maui and took it to London. Belgium, there's one there, they stole one too. It's real ones. Real stone, mana, headstones. Right? They've got our mana in them. And uh, also New York, Washington. There's three over here. One just up here in Auckland. Now, that's our brand name, patent right. That's our a trillion, trillion pound bullion vault, water money, oh, my water money, currency, value. Okay, I put a value on it, wrote it up, and put it out there in the public, on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, for anybody to deny. So far, nothing. Okay? So, that's our title. It's valuable instrument. That's going through the lawyer, the barrister, the criminal barrister, the best in New Zealand. Charles Hirschfeld. Okay? So, being German, one, being on our land blocks, at East Cape, Maui land, Wānoa, Marae, which is Marangaro Marae, the aliens changed the name to Awatere Marae. You see? The mischievous people. And Hinerupa Marae, he changed that from Rongomai Tāpui Marae. Those names, Rongomai Tāpui and Marangairo are significant in our claim that we were here first. Okay? Ra, the sun god, he's Cape Tepito. Right? Tepito, on East Island. Right? The birth of the earth, well, and the birth of New Zealand at Tepito. Now, right? those are graphic. And they are on Facebook. You can see the pictures there of our history. Now, that's in this Waitangi claim number. That combined as the spiritual side of our title and Kingi Tauroa at Waitangi, Te Ti Marae and this confederation flag jurisdiction of Admiralty Law. So that means we're drafting up legal papers for him and his title. We just need one chief, one surname, Tauroa, out of all of them. That's just one. All the other hapus up there in Ngāpūile, up north, because they had the gumption to go to the king and ask for help to save this country from the rogues from Australia, the government of Wellington, New Zealand, right? They're the rogues that are selling it off and it's not their land. They haven't proved. They've got the wrong man. Yeah? They've got the wrong man. Moai, they missed. They knew, but they missed. They took the Moai and locked them up in London. Okay? That's how cheeky they are. The Pakeas. Pakea? Wait a minute. Okay? And come here and try and fool Moai. No. No, no. No, he knows the answers. He got all the answers. Anyway, Kingi is the chief on the Marae. He has the jurisdiction from their flag, from Westminster Parliament, London, the high authority in the world. Right? <coughs> he is the Commander-in-Chief, Admiral, right? He's the one that stands on the beach and tells them you can come in or you can go out, right? He's got the authority to master the seabeds, the waterways, the land, right? This is commercial. He is going to instruct me and I instruct the lawyer the barrister, the criminal lawyer, to chase after all those aliens, one by one, and put them in the court, Supreme Court. World Court, hey, we're going there, and we'll take all our claims, criminal criminal claim there, to get the money out of them, to pay for all their wrongdoing. Right? We settle them. The Moai Crown Confederation settles 
the aliens out. Every alien sitting on this land that are voting for John Key, Government of Wellington, the Australia, New South Wales Government, okay? Those are the ones that came here and started selling a place where they had no authority. They had no sovereignty to do that. So the British took their flag off, took, took their titles and resold them second hand under the Scottish company. Right? Now, we have issues with that. That was illegal as well because they didn't survey the land in Auckland here. They sold it as bush with no pigs. Now, that's what I'm doing. I'm in charge of the land investigations here. Pakia land titles, Maori land title investigation. They investigated us, the Hapu. Now we investigate the Maoris. The Maoris are the Pakias from Britain. Okay? They made their own tribe up called Iwi in brackets. Possibles. And they called it Maori. And away they went, calling everything Maori and selling everything. Okay? So this is what I want to tell you. We are drafting the legal papers to make the 1835 Declaration of an Independent State of Aotea, New Zealand, legal and lawful. Okay? Put some uh, life into it and then start trading what it's supposed to be for. We haven't used it in 170 years. We have not used that flag since the hapu trading ships were using it between 1835 and 1840. They were self-government for five years under that flag. So that just shows you that Confederation flag was live for five years before the other colonial government in Wellington came from Australia and took over the government role. Now, we, we can govern now. We have our own government in place to run this place better than they're doing in Wellington. There won't be any of this uh, social welfare, all that sort of system, uh, uh, try to run Maori's lives. They can't do it. Only Maori people, like that's their word, only us, the hapu, can look after ourselves and run our own economy as a sovereign state government of ourselves okay so that's what we're doing and uh, I just want to let you know uh, we will catch up with you again soon so I hope you can think of what I'm saying is in fact being legalised at the moment with our top lawyer uh, in this country top barrister Charles Hirschfeld King Itoru up there Charles Hirschfeld and myself and Sue Nikora, the Prime Minister of the Maori Government Confederation in Gisman. Well, that's where I'm from, down the East Coast. So, one, two, three, four people doing this case to go to The Hague and to go to the UN. We have a seat on the UN. John Key is trying to get that seat for their rogue government in Wellington. They won't get it because they were asked, Jeffrey Palmer, in 1886, 1986, went there to try and get the seat. The Jamaican man said to him, I don't see your name on here. Asked him, who are you representing? This is Jeffrey Palmer, yeah? 86. Sue Nakura was in that government, the Labour government, as a Maori policy maker. Right, she knows everything. She knows everything about titles, about land, and about politics. Okay? That's where I get all my information from, the experts. Right? She's very good. So you watch out for her, watch out for Charles Hirschfeld, and you watch out for Maui. Right? So she, <coughs> uh, she holds that position up at Waitangi, Titi Marae with Kenny. And so she put it to him. Uh, I mean, the Jamaican said to Jeffrey Palmer, he was Prime Minister then, uh, why are you here? Who are you represent? He says, New Zealanders. And the Jamaican says, well, I don't see New Zealanders on here. I only see the Maori Confederation. And with that, he told him, go back 
and talk to the Maori Confederation. Well, they haven't yet. None of them have ever done it yet. They're using or usurping our flag. And on, at Waitangi, Titi Marae, oh, on the other side, Waitangi Marae, the party is Marae. When you have a look at the flagpole, the Navy flagpole, the Union Jacks on the top, right, there's a war flag for fighting and killing. Right, they put it up top, that's New Zealand's flag. And on the left side, you have the Confederation flag, 1835 Confederation Declaration of Independence Sovereign State flag. Okay? On the right, you have the British flag. Right, so that tells you if we took the Confederation flag off there, they wouldn't have any jurisdiction over these lands or over the sea or their maritime law. It would be gone. That's what's going to happen. We're going to take it off the flagpole and put it on our own flagpole. Okay? And so we run ourselves. That's ours. That belongs to us. That doesn't belong to the government of Wellington. They're not using it in the sense it should be up the top. It should be running this country and trading around the world. It is a trading flag between states, state to state, 59 states in the UN. We are one of them. Right? The Hapu, the Confederation, is one seat. That's the one Jeffrey Palmer was trying to get. Right? Now, he will never get it because he's not a Maori. Okay? Only a Maori. Male, bloodline, DNA. Right? Must identify that person, right, or the soul to claim that title for this country. This country is still owned by the Hapu, right? Go to Japan, it's Japanese. Go to China, it's Chinese. Come here, it's the Hapu. There was no such thing as Maori. It's Hapu. Okay, that's all I want to do. It's going to be the longest video, so I hope you learn something from that, because there's more to come. We're going to draft those papers through the legal office and take it to the Hague and the UN. Okay? Just to let you know this is real. Everything you see of mine on Facebook is real. Anyone wants to refute it, do so. Okay? If you don't, it is the law of the land and remains extant forevermore. Okay? Thank you very much. See you again and behave yourselves. You aliens.